with meteorologist Brian Bachman. Yeah, so true. It's been so nice having good news in the weather department all Labor Day weekend long, even with that subtle increase in temperatures we've seen over the last few days. Of course, this Labor Day weekend has been chock full of football already, going from the high school games on Friday night, college games yesterday and today. And of course, we got one more big one going on this evening. We heard from uh, sports director Beth Hull a little while ago. We got, uh, of course, uh, Clemson taking on Duke this evening, traveling out there to Duke. We'll see an 8 p.m. kickoff. Temperature around 81 degrees, mostly clear skies, looking just as beautiful there in Durham as it's been here in the Western Carolinas and Northeastern Georgia all weekend long. And uh, the overall setup here with the weather really has not changed to any significant degree since all the way back when we were talking to you on Friday evening. High pressure still very much in control. Centered over far western Virginia, parts of North Carolina here. Expansive dome of high pressure moving into the northeastern. U.S. all the way through northern Florida. It's not till you get to the western periphery of the high here where we have more of these southerly winds starting to draw some moisture up out of the Gulf of Mexico. Scattered showers and thunderstorms from parts of Missouri all the way through Louisiana. We will eventually see a subtle easterly shift in the high over the next few days. That's going to help to elevate our temperatures a bit more and it will eventually, along with a weakening cold front, bring some spotty showers or storms back into the mix too, but those not going to be an issue in our weather until we get toward the second half of this abbreviated work week. So your temperature trend here, let's talk about that first. It's going to be this last gasp, at least in the near future here, of some summertime heat over the next few days as we go to a high of 93 in the upstate tomorrow, peaking around 95 on Wednesday, and then slowly dialing it back closer to average in the mid to upper 80s in time for a more mild weekend this coming weekend. Good news too, even though the temps are going to be climbing here, the humidity is not going to come up much more than it already has. You look at the upstate uh, dew points here, we're just getting them back into muggy territory, those low to mid 60s as we head from Tuesday into Wednesday, and not much different for the mountains. So at least with the temps heating up, we're not talking about an oppressive level of heat uh, to really uh, go along with it here. As for your future track, looking fantastic. Mostly clear skies, 8 o'clock, 11 p.m., and just some high clouds trickling in as we move into the overnight period. Watch out for some patchy fog on your morning drive in the mountains tomorrow, and then just some high clouds rolling in from time to time tomorrow afternoon, but another gorgeous day ahead of us. 63 for tonight in the mountains, mostly clear, patchy fog late, but overall a pretty pleasant night ahead and high of 68 in the upstate or low temperature, I should say, of 68 in the upstate for tonight. Then those low to mid 90s we talked about for Tuesday and Wednesday. Spotty storms, a possibility Thursday into the start of next week, but mostly sunny weather real still really still going to dominate the forecast and the mountains pretty much the same story, except some of those spotty storms may creep back into the forecast as early as Wednesday. Justin.